Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a product review. I'm here to show you the Renee of Paris Hot Comb. It's a brand new styling tool by Renee of Paris and I'm gonna demonstrate it for you if you wanna know more about this and to see whether or not it's an option in your wig styling uh, wardrobe tool belt, <laughs> then stick around. So what's really cool about this, stu this styling tool is it is made for regular synthetic. Not, you can use it on heat friendly, but it is specifically made to be safe to use on regular synthetic. It only goes up to 240 degrees. And so all you have here is an on off button. So you push the on button and it goes on and then it tells you that 240, I have no idea if you're gonna be able to see this, 240 is the highest that it goes to and then look at it count up. So it's heating up to 240 degrees and it looks like it's heating it up really fairly quickly. So you heat it up, you get it ready to go, and then you can run it through your regular synthetic fibers to help them, whether it be to refresh them or maybe to, to relax a curl pattern. I mean, there's a couple of different reasons you might wanna use one of these. Now because it only goes up to 240 degrees, I don't think it would be ideal to use on human hair because I'm not sure that it will get hot enough to really do much with human hair. Likewise, for heat friendly synthetics, you definitely can use this. It just may not get hot enough depending on what it is that you're trying to do. If you have a straight heat friendly synthetic and you just want something to be able to run a little bit of heat through those ends every so often to keep them from frizzing and fraying and staying nice, as long as you stay on top of the maintenance of that, this may be enough. I can't say for sure. I haven't had it very long. I haven't been able to really put it through all of, the, all of its paces. Um, so just keep that in mind. But I have watched a number of videos of others demonstrating this. And my take on it is it's meant to really refresh the fibers of a regular synthetic that may be starting to get old and maybe needs a little bit of help. Or in the case of this one, it's both old and I, I want to kind of just do something about this curl pattern down here. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how to use it on this wig on my head. What I am wearing right now is Renee of Paris Adeline in the color, oh goodness, honey. I don't remember. The beautiful thing is Renee of Paris puts their name and color the name of the wig and color on the tag. So this is Adeline and it's Honey Brown R is the color. This wig was actually donated to me by a wig sister for education purposes or kind of whatever I wanted to do with it. This is a well-loved Adeline. I also think she may have trimmed or thinned this one as well. So don't look at this and think this is exactly what Adeline looks like. If you want to know more about Adeline, I do have a review of Adeline from a couple of years ago. I'll link it in the description. I'm not even sure if Adeline's still available, to be honest with you. Um, so maybe I'll look that up too. But that's the style. So let's take a look at this. So I took some before pictures so that you, I can do a side by side of how this changes. I often forget to do those on these and I remembered today. So first thing I want you to know, this is heated all the way up and I can, it's not burning me. It's not even getting close to burning me. Like I don't know that this would ever get hot enough to burn me if I just held it forever. So it's definitely a safe implement. It's, you're not going to get burned. There's no part on this that I can put my hands that it's burning me, which again is why I say I'm not sure that this would be appropriate for regular synthetic or for uh, human hair or even potentially heat friendly synthetic. And um, let's see. In addition to that, what I have learned from Renee of Paris is because it doesn't get very hot, you actually don't have to use heat protectant on your wig. They did it in their demonstration. So I would say do whatever you're comfortable with. If you want to put a heat protectant on, absolutely feel free to do that. Um, if they say that it's not necessary, I'm probably not going to do it because 
I don't like to put a lot of product on my wigs, so I, I probably would just skip it, but let's just demonstrate. So basically, it's like a comb and they've got all these indents and the heating ceramic is right inside here. So you want to somehow get the hair in the ceramic. I did practice with this on another wig and it worked so good. Yeah, there we go. So you don't wanna take huge sections um, because you wanna be able to feed that. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. Wow. That really, look at that. Look at the difference between this and this. Holy moly, that worked well and fast. So you wanna be able to run the fiber all the way through it. So you don't wanna take too big of sections because otherwise it's not, I can't even believe that. It's not even gonna fit. Not only did that really straighten it, but it feels so good. This feels very frizzy. It feels as frizzy as it looks. Um, but this feels amazing. Oh my goodness. Well, that's impressive. So let's run it through this piece right here. So how you run it through, whether you run it through top down or bottom up like this on the bottom is going to be trial and error. Goodness, you guys, this works so well. I'm really impressed already. Um, so really it's going to be some trial and error how you want to run if you go this way or this way maybe it'll depend on what you're trying to do how much change you're trying to make and i am really honestly i'm more impressed with this than i thought i would be not only is it doing so great straightening this out but it feels like it's rehabbing these fibers as well technique will take some practice but that's great. Let me try something. So if I wanted to get lift in this piece, what if I, it's hard to do this in my little mirror. What if I did this? So I run it back and then let me hold it up for a minute. Cause you know, what sets the style in a synthetic is the cooling. The heating makes the fibers more malleable, but it's the cooling that sets whatever the style is. So if you're trying to put curl in a wig, you have to hold that curl in place until it cools. Likewise, if you want to get lift, I got a little, you want to hold that in place. I definitely think that this could also be great for that. It just really will take some trial and error. And, you know, I've got to be able to get this front part into that to warm it up in order to get the lift. And so it's tricky. You can't get it super close to the scalp just because it, it's, you know, it's fat, but oh my goodness, I did it twice. Look at that. Okay. So not only is this good for maybe straightening a, a curl or a wave pattern and for rehabbing those ends. So if your ends are really getting dry and frizzy, so I'm, I'm making sure to hold it with this hand. I'm pulling it through to those ends. Wow. The ends feel great. They feel silky. These feel like frayed and dry. These feel silky. If you're styling challenged, like I can be, it might be a good idea to try to practice with a old wig, a cheap wig, just to make sure that you know what it's going to do and you can kind of figure out your technique. If you're just trying to refresh the ends, but you don't want to straighten the piece, that unfortunately is going to be a tough sell. I, cause anytime you take heat to a synthetic, you alter the, the style somewhat. If it's a straight style, you're really not doing much to alter it. But if it's a curly style, enough meaningful heat to do something to old and damaged ends is going to be too much to keep the so happy. this may not be the best tool for you if you've got a curly or wavy piece and you don't want to straighten it um but then again i don't know how you're going to rehab those ends if there's a problem without i'll tack on some pictures at the end so that you can see what this whole thing looks like when it's done you know the ends i looked in my mirror they do look a little frizzy but they definitely don't feel like it they feel really good so part of it just may be this, 
um, the style. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, I, my, the jury's still out for me on, you know, if I ran this through this, would that be my final look? Or would I want to find a way to put a little bend in the ends with some low but heat or something? This is the box. So they call it a flat iron, which is interesting because it doesn't really look like a flat iron. I think they could have named it differently. But anyway, that's what they call it, the Rene of Paris flat iron. And here's just a few of the specs. So first of all, like I said, it only goes up to 240 degrees, and obviously I've demonstrated that it doesn't burn the synthetic iron. And then it says, it's, so it's one button operation, so you just hit this button to start it. And, you know, I, it's, it's in a decent place. I don't find, I hold it just below it, so I don't find that I hit that button a lot. I know sometimes on some tools, they put those buttons in a terrible place where you constantly hit it when you're using it. That hasn't been an issue for me. Um... It says it takes one minute to heat up to 240 degrees. There is no temperature adjustment. It's 240 or nothing. And it will shut off after one hour. So if you forget to turn it off, it will shut itself off after I'll one link hour. the Renee of Paris video below. You can always do a search for Renee of Paris Flatiron. I'm sure other people's reviews are out on YouTube if you really want to see a lot more information. But the bottom line for me is if you wear regular synthetic and you struggle with rehabbing them, keeping, you know, the ends nice. If you maybe get a wavy or curly piece that you don't love and you'd rather just straighten it out, this is awesome. I have tried to straighten a curly synthetic piece before with steam. Oh my gosh, was that labor intensive. This is no labor, but barely. I mean, it's so easy to use. If on the other hand, you wear mainly heat friendly, I still think this could be good for the ends. I will be testing that, but it's probably not enough heat. I really am amazed at how soft these feel. It really is not enough heat to make dram uh, dramatic style changes. So just kind of keep that in mind, weigh the pros and cons. I am super glad to have this. And if I, knowing what I know now, I would have purchased this for my regular synthetics. Without question, I would have purchased this. So thanks for letting me Renee of Paris, show this to everybody. If you guys have questions for me, let me know. If you want me to do some different things with this, if there's something you're curious about, let me know and I can put another video together with you guys' suggestions for how I might use this. So feel free to make suggestions. I'm very lucky to have a box of donated wigs that people have sent me that for practicing. They're not really in great condition for, you know, giveaways or things like that. And so I, I have resources to do some practicing. So let me know what you'd like to see and I'll bring it to you. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate you so much. I'll talk to you soon.